either. I like hot chocolate. <laughs> Um, I would have to say coffee. I literally cannot leave the house unless, unless I have two cops. Just the caffeine needs to hit me to function, really. <laughs> so you're having two children. children as soon yeah. as five o'clock in the morning, you wake up, coffee. All right, <laughs> I'm okay now. Uh, I'd have to say my mum. She's still playing netball at 64, <laughs> 65. What position Sorry, did she play? Centre as well. Oh. So yeah, I'd have to say her. She uh, full time, pe uh, full time job, two kids. Nailed it, yeah. I'd say the same, my mum um, has always supported me, um, even when I went to America. She worked two jobs to send me money uh, abroad so I could have a good lifestyle and, and a good education. Although she's never really come to watch me play football, she <laughs> hates football and she hates seeing me get injured. Um, she was always at home making the roast dinners on a Sunday, um, making sure we're well fed, so I'd say you mum. No pressure for us then <laughs> to turn into that. <laughs> I'm quite fortunate, I think. I think I've had some. There's one Wales kit that wasn't my favourite with the green stripes. But it wasn't ugly. I wouldn't say it was ugly. Um, I think mine was my, when I made my debut in '96. So the first England kit that I wore. It was like a nighty. Because obviously it weren't women's fitted kits yeah. then. It was an Umbro kit and it was so baggy. Like the socks, the heels of the socks literally come up to the calf. I bet you still scored um, in it though. I didn't score on my debut, but um, it, yeah, just that looking back at pictures now, it was like a night in, yeah. um, and I had to tuck it in, it was just baggy, it was horrific. I think Jessica Renner's Hill, but you know, same as you, being a mother, seeing someone come back after having a child and then winning a world championship, gold medal in a heptathlon of all mm. events, I think for me that was huge and sort of showed everybody in the world what a mum can do, and for me that, you know, it resonated and kind of inspired me to carry on playing after having kids. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show my age now. Um, <laughs> in 1999, when the US won the World Cup, I think mm. it transcended the sport back then. Uh, Mia Hamm, Brandon Chastain. Um, I was out in the States at university at the time, and that was yeah. the biggest thing, because then the Pro League started off the back of that. Was that the one with the shirt over That's the head? The shirt, yeah. yeah, the bra. <laughs> um, and it just showed me that I could potentially reach those levels as a professional footballer, and yeah. I kind of look up to looked up to them um, them two figures um, yeah. because they were icons then yeah, they had figurehead dolls made yeah that it was just that was pretty a, amazing great experience for them in yeah. the game I feel like I've been a veteran for so long now that I'm gonna have to say the veteran um, I think there's one one other player at Watford at the minute who's over 30 and I don't even want to know how young the others are but I'm, I'm called the football mum there so yeah I've been a veteran for too long so yeah I would say the veteran because you've got had that experience mm. um, the knowledge the understanding of, of the game and then yeah. you can share that with the, the young whippersnappers that are coming <laughs> and trying to kick you in training I have arguments on social media quite often. Don't do it. I know. Don't get yourself into it. I, I feel like I win them though. <laughs> um, there was one, one, someone got involved, I was just talking about how well deserved I think the netball team were for winning team of the year. So it's not to do with football but women in sport and someone decided to take it upon themselves to challenge my opinion on it with something completely out of context. and. He ended up deleting a lot of his tweets, but yeah, there's all of them, they get back to the ironing board or get back in the kitchen. There's just so many, I couldn't really pick one particular comment, I don't know. Yeah, I've been trolled a lot um, <coughs> on social media. Get back in the kitchen was a, a common one. Yeah. The ironing board one, I think Casey Stoney actually did a commercial about it and she was ironing her England <laughs> kit and it come up how many caps she'd had. That was quite funny. That's um, good. But it's just water off a duck's back. You yeah. know, we've been, we played the Arsenal, um, played for Wales a number of times, both international players, both played at the highest levels and it just, um, just goes over your head because yeah. we know we're good and we've, we've been successful in, in our sports. Just give it everything you've got, really. Enjoy it. Play with a smile on your face. I found that when I'm happiest, I'm at my best. If I'm not enjoying it, then you know it's time to make a change, whether that's how you're training, who you're playing for, whatever it is, just enjoy it and make the most of it because you know, at my age now I'm coming to the end of my career and it feels like yesterday that I was first pulling on my boots, so enjoy it, 
enjoy it while it lasts and yeah, put everything you can into it. Yeah, it is a, a very short career, so my motto was always dream big. Um, and you know, I never imagined that I would play for England and become England's all-time goal scorer. Um, I just had the dream of reaching my full potential all the time, every day on the training pitch, giving everything 100%, and then um, trophies and success come along with that. But I always, like you said, try to play with a smile on your face. If you're not enjoying it, then you're not going to get the success. Yeah. Click here for more videos. Or here. Ha, ha, ha.